Those who are already familiar with our stock screener certainly know that the number of fundamental and technical filtering options is huge. After screening, however, it all comes down to looking at the results individually and checking which ones effectively qualify for your portfolio. To do that as quickly and efficiently as possible, Chartmill offers a lot of different ways to view the results. And in this video, I go through them one by one. My name is Christoph. Welcome to Chartmill. The different view options can be found on the blue horizontal bar visible in both the stock charts and stock screen application. Clicking on the inverted triangle next to view brings up a drop down menu where the main categories become visible. These are tables, columns, charts, summary and finally custom. Open the tables menu. The overview table shows the overall technical and fundamental chart mill rating for the stock along with some performance data on how the price has performed over the past few months. The technical table shows only price technical data such as the price performance over a given period, the relative strength of the stock and also the overall technical and setup chart mill ratings. On some of these tables you will notice that a little arrow appears as soon as you hover over it with the mouse pointer. This allows you to rank the results in that column from high to low or vice versa when you click again. The fundamental table is of interest for the fundamental investor and focuses only on a number of fundamental ratios. By default these include the price earnings ratio, return on equity, return on assets and some other data. The ratings table plots the various Chartmill ratings both technical and fundamental for both growth, profitability, valuation, financial health and dividend policy. It quickly gives you a good overall picture of what a company's strengths and weaknesses are. Finally, the extended hours option provides more information on pre-market and aftermarket change along with the associated volume. The second main category houses the column view. Click on it to reveal the various subcategories. The results will be displayed as columns in this section, revealing a lot more information. Technical shows pure price data, just like the technical table view, but in this case the shares price chart is also visible on the left. Furthermore, you will find information giving more details about the price performance, volume, volatility, relative strength of the stock and an overview of the price trend on several timeframes. Likewise, under the fundamental option, the price chart is visible on the left. On the right, the various Chartmill ratings are shown for the company's valuation, profitability, financial health, growth and the dividend policy. For each component, a number of ratios responsible for that specific rating are also shown. The next three options being quality, growth and valuation each show specific parameters that are most applicable for that specific investment strategy. For instance, the growth column will show more ratios that provide details on revenue and profit growth and for the quality column, the focus is more on ratios that zoom in on return on equity and return on debt and the associated gross and net margins. Also for these options, the chart is shown on the left side. The fundamental full option shows the full set of available ratios and is thus the most detailed view. For this option, no chart is shown on the left. The last choice, two charts and description, is particularly useful when you want a quick picture of the medium and long term price trend of the share as both the daily and the weekly chart of the stock are shown at the same time, along with a brief summary of the chart with technical and fundamental ratings. The chart section shows two subcategories. The first one shows the individual chart of a stock, the settings with which this chart is shown, the time frame, the period and the indicator overlays are exactly those settings that you as a user have set as default. And how to provide charts with default settings can be seen in the video that appears in the top right corner of your screen right now. I will also post the link below in the description of this video. The second option shows two charts of the same stock next to each other. So you can easily compare, for instance, the day chart with the week chart. But again, the settings for both charts can be adjusted on your account page. The summary category contains a number of predefined reports, each focusing on a different section. The section's technical report, fundamental report, analyst ratings and ownership are reports you will also find when you open the profile page of an individual stock. In fact, you can easily access that individual profile page from any view by clicking this icon. The technical report shows the setup and technical chart mill ratings along with some statistical data as well as the significant support and resistance levels, automatically recognized by the software. 
Sometimes you will also get an effective trade setup idea on this page, which is based on the support and resistance levels. Keep in mind, however, that these setups were generated fully automatically and should never be considered as actual advice to buy a stock. The fundamental report is a comprehensive visual report of multiple fundamental ratios, and everything listed in green is positive, blue is neutral and red is rather negative. This report is quite extensive and thus less suitable if you want to look at or compare a lot of candidates. Analyst ratings shows the buy consensus of analysts with their respective price targets and their up and down grades. The chart gives you the evolution of those recommendations at a glance. The quotes choice is very useful if, for instance, you have your entire portfolio in a list and you want a quick overview of the current price evolution of your shares or ETFs. Finally, you can also view your list in the CSV format, the comma separated value lines. The results can also be downloaded as CSV, and to do so, click this icon and choose the desired format. Keep in mind that the export is limited to 2000 results for paying subscribers and 400 if you are a free subscriber. The custom option is the most advanced one and allows you to completely custom design a view that best suits your own strategy. It allows you to fully personalize the results Chartmill presents and is one of the many features that sets Chartmill apart from many other stock screeners. I'm going to show you one of my personal views that I use to compare dividend stocks quickly and easily, and then I'm going to create this view so you can do the same for yourself. To get started, we're going to look for dividend stocks. I'm going to keep it simple by using an already existing trading idea. To do so, click on the trading ideas section in the main menu. In the next screen, first select the option chart mode screens only. Then open the drop down menu next to select one or more strategies and choose dividend investing. There are a total of five chart mode trading ideas available that focus on dividend stocks. Choose the trading idea on the far left and click on more info. This trading idea uses the chart mode fundamental ratings health, profitability and dividend. Two more basic filters are applied which state that the price of the stock should be at least 10 dollar or euros and that the minimum average volume should be higher than 500k to ensure sufficient liquidity. In summary, with these filter settings, Chartmill will look for profitable companies that are financially reasonably sound and pay a nice dividend. To the right, you can subsequently select which markets you want to use this filter for. For this example, we will select US only run. The results in the next screen are automatically shown in a fundamental table, but I'm going to change this. So I open the drop down menu next to view and place the mouse pointer over the custom item. Then I select one of my self created custom views, in this case the dividend view. Now I not only have a price chart, but also a lot of interesting information related to the dividend itself. This view consists of three columns, on the left the stocks chart, in the middle, some data like the name, ticker, the Chartmill ratings, some fundamental ratios that I consider important myself, and of course the specific dividend data. The fundamental charts on the right show the evolution of the dividend on an annual basis, and below it the relationship between dividend, free cash flow and annual revenue. Those charts are a big plus, especially the top chart. After all, increasing bars tell me that the company is increasing its dividend year after year and that is obviously very good news for the dividend investor. Now let me show you how I've made this screen. So first of all open the view menu in the blue bar and go to custom and select create custom view. And in the next screen choose the option tree column view. In the first column click on add open the drop down menu and click stock chart. Now click once in the middle column and choose quote. Click add again in the middle column and choose properties. And in the next screen choose um, the sector and the industry classification from the general menu. Then select the name for this section header and I use sector and then press done. Then we're going to add another header section in the same column by clicking Add once again and again picking Properties. In the main menu now choose the Chartmill Ratings section and select Dividend, Growth, Health, Profitability 
and valuation. And again, name the section header. I choose fundamental ratings for this one. For the next header section, we proceed in exactly the same way. So once again, choose properties and from the fundamental dividend menu, select the dividend yield, the dividend payout ratio, the dividend industry rank and the dividend sector rank also the ex-dividend date and the dividend growth and for this section header I use the name dividend. Now while making this video I have probably discovered a small bug or glitch that makes it impossible at least on my account to add another column in the middle section after this one. So if you are confronted with the same problem you have to name and save your screen first. Afterwards, you open the view menu again, select create custom view and then in the next screen you need to open the view you just saved so you can edit it further. Apparently adding columns will work again once you've saved your screen. And finally we add one more section in the middle. Again select properties and choose fundamental health. Select the return on invested capital versus the weighted average, average cost of capital the debt to equity ratio and also the debt to the free cash flow ratio. Then change the menu to fundamental profitability and select the operating margin, the gross margin and finally also the profit margin. And I give this section header the name fundamentals. And then finally we add the fundamental charts in the right column click add once again and then pick fundamental chart first select the dividends yearly click add in the third column once again and select fundamental chart again and then finally choose the yearly income versus the free cash flow versus the dividends now enter a final name for your custom screen and in this case i use custom view 2 uh, because I've already made my first custom view as a, a dividend view one and then press save view. Now refresh the page and when you open the view menu you will see your custom view that you can use at any time from now on. So there is one additional feature that I would like to show you. For all the main items in the view menu except for the charts view you will notice that as soon as you make a choice you also have the possibility to set a secondary view. So with that you can combine different views. The chosen secondary view for the stock will appear below the first view. For example if I choose for the first view columns and then fundamental and for the secondary view tables and ratings both views will be displayed below each other. And this brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to get started with the many view options yourself. And I personally find this a very successful update that adds a lot of usability to our platform and allows me as an investor to view and compare stocks in multiple ways. And I am actually curious what you think of these new features, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, a like on this video is greatly appreciated and if you find the content valuable, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.